All right, Ray, thank you so much. The Manatee County School District has reversed its image from an operational nightmare to well-oiled machine in the eyes of the state. That's according to the results of an intense audit of their offices. ABC 7's Adam Cellini has more on how the district turned things around and what it could mean for students. Just three years ago, the Auditor General came to these offices and pointed out 42 shortcomings in how the district is managed. Earlier this week, auditors returned with news that those shortcomings have shrunk significantly to now only nine. It's a great yeah. feeling. It's a great <laughs> feeling. Karen Carpenter and the rest of the Manatee County School Board have plenty to smile about. After getting an F on their 2014 audit, the district's grade is now closer to an A. We are still on the, the watch list as it goes for the state. They'll keep monitoring us very closely for the next couple of years, but we've made such tremendous progress. The reason? An overhaul of staff, including new superintendent Diana Green and her culture of accountability. Her culture and um, what we as an administration embrace is that we will do the right thing and we will do it the right way even if it's not the most comfortable way. To improve between audits, the district addressed gaps in security and finance management and also added fail safes to other departments for when operations fall out of line. The result, a limited operating budget can now stretch significantly farther. We were chasing things, that, wasting dollars chasing things to make them right. We don't have those issues now, so we know that we are funneling the dollars down to th the classroom. And in the classroom, Carpenter says those savings could mean more books, staff, or anything else the district funds. The direct benefit is that you know the money is going directly to education and students. Continuing to stretch dollars will be very important for the school district moving forward. We recently learned that the projected student population growth here in the county could come with a price tag of around $180 million. In Manatee County, Adam Cellini, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.